Hi, I'm Eric. Welcome to We Do Topic Talks. Do you know what this is? It's a postcard that I received, but I don't know whom it's from. The person who sent this wrote something. Hello, Eric. Greetings from South Germany. I usually visit the city of Hamburg at least once a year, and I love to watch the ships go by. Best wishes, Sylvia. I think that these are very nice words. Actually, I often receive postcards from around the world from people I don't know. This is because sending and receiving postcards from unknown people is my hobby. This hobby is called postcrossing, and I think everybody should do it. Postcrossing is a website you can join in order to receive postcards from around the world like this. But you have to send postcards in order to receive postcards. I really recommend it. And if you decide to try, the link to the website is below this video. This is the first card I received when I began doing this hobby. As you heard from the words she wrote, she seems like a very nice person. And maybe you heard that this card comes from a place called Hamburg. Do you know what Hamburg is? It's a city in northern Germany. Like me, maybe you think of hamburgers when you hear the word Hamburg. As you know, the hamburger is an icon of America, not Germany. Since I have lived and worked in various countries around the world, I've heard a lot of people say what they think American food is. Maybe in another video, I'll talk about the variety of American food. But since hamburgers always come up in the conversation, and hamburgers are a really important fast food in the U.S., I think I'll talk about hamburgers now. If you come to the U.S., it's very easy to find a fast food hamburger restaurant everywhere. Actually, that's what hamburgers are. And that's why they're important. They're an easy to eat, comfortable fast food. For Americans, hamburgers are perfect when you're busy. You need something cheap, but also something that fills you up and feels satisfying to eat. So now, hamburgers are an important fast food. But has that always been true? Have hamburgers always been America's most popular fast food? Before I researched this topic, I knew that hamburgers became popular, especially in the 1960s. Really, the fast food hamburgers took off in the 1970s. But then I remembered the old cartoon called Popeye, which is from the 1930s. In this cartoon, there's a character named Wimpy, who never has any money, and only wants to eat hamburgers all the time. So he always asks everybody for money so he can buy some hamburgers. He's fat and lazy, and the name Wimpy means weak and afraid in English. If you call someone a wimp, it means they're weak. The character Wimpy likes hamburgers, but... Popeye, who's strong and brave, likes spinach. Since Popeye was a cartoon from the 1930s, I can see that hamburgers were eaten at that time, and they didn't have a healthy image, not like spinach. So when did they first appear? And where did they really come from? Well, the name hamburger comes from the German city of Hamburg. And in Hamburg, they served something called Hamburg steak, which was a ground meat steak, basically a beef patty. Although it was ground meat, like a burger, it was served and eaten like a steak. But it wasn't a real hamburger like we eat today. Something similar to the modern proper hamburger began to appear when ships started bringing 
large numbers of European immigrants from Europe to the U.S. This was a time of huge immigration to the U.S. and the city of Hamburg in northern Germany was one of the most important port cities where the ships left from. And on one of these ships, they served the Hamburg steak, which everybody knew, between two pieces of bread, which was something new. Then the people arrived in the U.S. They remembered the dish from the ship and continued to make and eat it. Each time new ships brought new groups of immigrants over, it was served again and again. Previous immigrants opened up restaurants to serve the new immigrants. And since the hamburger was an interesting dish that reminded them of their home in Europe, it must have been good business to serve it to the people who arrived from the ships. This means that from the late 1800s, hamburgers were eaten in the U.S. But they weren't popular or well-known all over the country yet. The immigrants that came over on these ships liked them, so they ate them a lot, but hamburgers still didn't spread into the main population of normal American people. Then something happened. In 1904, there was a World's Fair in St. Louis. This is a very famous event in history, by the way. I recommend you research and try to learn more about the 1904 World's Fair in St. Louis. Anyway, in 1904, hamburgers were served at the World's Fair, and it's thought that from this time on, they became more well-known. People could buy them more often. But they still weren't the most common, iconic American fast food. Even though they were liked at the World's Fair, and began to spread across the country, World War I started a few years later. And then, in the U.S., anything that came from Germany lost some of its appeal. Things with German names, like hamburgers, got a bad reputation. But now we have to think a little bit. Hamburgers, like we eat them today, didn't become the most common fast food until maybe the 1960s. But now we enter the 1920s, 30s, and 40s. During these decades, the U.S. grew and grew, and fast food restaurants were growing across the country and establishing new food traditions. This is a very important time in America. A lot of well-known traditions and ideas entered daily life and gave us what we think of as basically classic American culture. But if the hamburger wasn't such a popular item yet, what was the most iconic traditional American fast food at that time? Well, during these decades, sandwiches of all kinds were really common. But maybe fried chicken was king. And I'm sure you must know that even today, fried chicken is a really popular and iconic American fast food. But eventually, it lost its lead to the hamburger. Sandwiches, fried chicken, and hamburgers are all delicious and satisfying, of course. But hamburgers are more convenient. Hamburgers aren't just tasty, they're good for business, too. You see, when sandwiches were the main fast food that restaurants served, they usually had some kind of sliced meat. Oh, by the way, sandwich is the name of a place in England, but that's something for another video. But cutting the meat and storing it properly for each sandwich is complicated and bothersome for a busy restaurant. But if you grind all the meat, just use ground meat, you can serve exactly the same portion each time, and it's easier to store and take care of. It's very efficient for businesses. So 
So, yes, after 1904, restaurants started serving hamburgers, but it was just another sandwich. It took many decades, but eventually they became the most popular and iconic American fast food, and they've now spread around the world. And it all started with a wave of immigrants coming from Europe, leaving from a port city in northern Germany called Hamburg. Maybe someday I'll go there and watch the ships pass by. It sounds like it must be a beautiful place. Thank you. I'll see you next time.